There are three different kinds of cases that I generally use for my Air 2S or my Mavic 2 Pro or my DJI Mini 2. And today I want to walk you through what those are so that you can decide if one of them is best for you or, um, you know, which one you might want to get. Because it is important, especially if you're going to invest a lot of money in a drone, to protect it when you're traveling out to places like this. And if you don't know me, my name is Jake and I create content for solo creators on the go. People like me who are on the go creating small commercial projects or stuff for here on YouTube. So I test and review equipment here in Alaska and I do tips and tutorials on how to use that equipment. So let's jump into what kinds of cases you might want to use for your drone. And the first is the case that comes with the Fly More combo from DJI. Definitely not a bad case. Uh, it's not the greatest, but it's not bad. It does shed water pretty well and Fits everything that you need in here. Right now I've got my Mini 2 in here. So fits that, fits the controller nicely, fits a couple of extra batteries, ND filters, all of that fits inside the case nicely. And the nice thing is that with this case, you can take it with you to a lot of places because it's pretty much just grab and go. You can uh, throw it over your shoulder, carry it around and run with it. Well, maybe not actually run with it, but you can, you know, take it a lot of places. It's pretty easy to throw in the back of your car or something like that. But it doesn't offer a lot of protection, and uh, so that's the reason I don't use it very often. Now, if you didn't get the Fly More combo, something you might want to consider is just using your camera bag. And that works pretty well overall, especially because most camera bags are pretty modular. Here you can see I've got the Air 2S tucked here. I've got my controller tucked here. I've got space for a couple extra batteries, my camera, another lens. And this is a pretty small backpack. I think this is a, uh, what is this, 18 liter? Yeah, this is an 18 liter backpack. So this is a Think Tank Mind Shift 18L, and it works well. But that also does not afford you the best protection because especially if stuff's rolling around in your bag, or you know, there's a fair amount of space here where stuff can shift around. So there is another option, which I'm pretty excited to tell you about. And that's these. These are made by Flight Path, or Aldrin Asasio, who's a friend of mine, a fellow YouTuber, great channel, you should definitely check him out. And he spent a lot of time putting these things together, testing different materials out, trying different things out. These are fantastic. And not only do they fit the drone, the Air 2 or the Air 2S really well, you could have I mean, you could fit a Mini 2 in here too if you wanted to. I think you might actually have some for the Mini. But they're really nicely made cases. They zip really nicely. They've got even a rubberized zipper, so they'll repel a lot of water. And then you can take this whole thing and just tuck it in. And then you've got this really nice solid case that keeps everything protected. This one's for the remote controller. And the nice thing is there's a space up here on top where you can stick ND filters. If you got ND filters from DJI or Polar Pro or Freewell. The nice thing is then you've got this case super well protected, but the coolest thing about this is you don't have to even use these for drones. I love little cases like this because it's a great place to put all of the little extras, the little things that I have in my bag, like GoPro batteries, lens hoods, extra batteries for the camera, gaffer's tape, and a GoPro battery, this little thing from Rode, which, uh, you know, allows you to put two, two microphones on your, on your lens. But it's just nice to be able to have a little bag, a little compartment that you can put a lot of little odds and ends, zip it up, and know that they're not gonna be falling all around or rattling all around your camera bag. So, Aldrin, Great job on these, by the way. He did send these to me, but he's not paying me or asking me to do anything. He just sent them and said, try them out. So these are fantastic though. I really, really like them. I've been trying them out for the last couple of weeks and they're great. They're probably the best made little cases like this that I've seen. You got a little belt loop back here if you want to put it on your belt. Um, just really nice, really great quality craftsmanship and great work. So, but that might sound like a commercial for these. It's not, but they are fantastic. If you're gonna pick something like that up, I'd highly encourage you to check these out. There are links for all this stuff in the description. If you want the highest level of protection, like you're traveling in extreme weather or extreme environments, like I do a lot, then I highly recommend this case. This is a hard case. It's called Sam, Sma, Smatry, Smatry, Smat, Smatry. I don't, I don't know how to say it, but it's really inexpensive. It's on Amazon. And the nice thing is, it's weather sealed. It's got a little rubber gasket around here, so it'll keep the rain out. In theory, I guess I could just throw it in the lake and see if it floats, but I'm not going to because I don't want to go swimming after it. That lake is really cold. But it does fit everything nicely in there, super well protected. You've got all your batteries you can put in there. Uh, this is what I do, just FYI, a little pro tip. 
Batteries with the terminals facing down are fully charged. Batteries with the terminals facing up are discharged and need to be charged. Fit your charger, some extra propellers. Even Smith fits the smart controller in here. You can take a, a, a insert out and fit a smart controller. And total room for five batteries in here with the one in the Air 2S or the Air 2. And this will work for either one. Um, but this case has really been nice because then you can go, you know the drone's protected. You don't have to worry about it. You can throw it at the back of your car, go through the rain, go through the snow, throw it in a kayak, travel across big lakes, watch glaciers fall apart, and uh, know that your drone's gonna be totally, totally protected. If you wanna learn how to fly your drone better, there's a playlist right here that'll take you through some videos. Also, I created a course that will teach you how to fly a drone from the very beginner to maybe a little bit intermediate. And uh, you can click or tap the links in the description for that. As always, you can join my live stream Wednesday nights, 4 p.m. Alaska time, 8 p.m. Eastern. I'll see you again soon in the next video. Cheers.